Welcome to HTML5 Tutorials, Chapter 11, HTML5 Geolocation API, Part 2, brought to you by Anpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about how to show an interactive Google Map with a marker, zoom and drag options. So in a sense, we are going to build a map of, a, of my current location and that map will have all the options of marking it and how we can zoom the map and we can also drag the uh, placeholder in the map okay and right now this is what we learned uh, learned in the last session like what is geolocation api and geolocation is most accurate for devices with gps like smartphones and using the geolocation api we can fetch uh, the current position of the user location of the user so coming to the browser support these are the versions okay which support these versions and above which supports the browsers okay these are the very simple things and in this session what we are going to do is we are going to learn a demo and where we are going to build an interactive google map with the marker zoom and drag options so right now without wasting much time let us learn like how to build a uh, uh, google maps okay with the very interactive google map so now what i'll do is i'm having already a piece of code ready where we get the google map with the drag options and zoom options let me explain you that so it's very simple so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the button okay and I'm going to have a div okay the div ID is map older and this on the button click okay it has to execute so I'll so I'm, having, I'm giving the word as try it when I click on that button okay it should give me the current location with the interactive Google map so to do that first I need to take this scripts okay and here we can observe we have a API key okay you can search in google like how to get the api key so once you have the api key you have to add it here in the key in the place of the value as a key okay to the key we have to add a value as api key and after that we have a script javascript written so this is what we wrote in the last session where we fetch okay the latitude and longitude positions with the help of this show, show position method so the navigator object is having this geolocation and in the geolocation we get a method called get current position so it takes two parameters first position is the show, po show position and second one is show error so what show position method is going to return us is uh, first before that we are going to check whether okay the geolocation is supported by the browser if it is supported it's going to execute this if it is not supported it's going to push this message telling like geolocation is not supported by the browser okay and we have a method called show position so this takes a parameter position and right now we have these things so the things are we have, have two variables latitude and longitude so these two variables will get the current latitude and longitude okay and and apart from that we have something called latitude and longitude and we have something we have, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create an object of this uh, google map dot maps and we are passing latitude these latitudes and longitude what we fetched here and i'm creating a variable called map holder and i'm telling like document dot get element by id this map holder map holder is the result where we have to push it inside the div so here is my div and it's having id called map holder okay and right now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to set the div height and width so the map height and width that is the width height should be 250 pixel and the width should be 500 pixel and i have something called my option these are my custom styles what i've written so in javascript i've written with the help of object okay I've created an object called my options and I've created a key value pairs here. So I'm telling like the center, latitude and longitude, this is going to be, and we can zoom up to 14, uh, the size of 14. And we have a map ID. Okay, it's of roadmap, it's not a satellite. We are telling like we can have, when you see in the websites, we get two options that is roadmap as well as the satellite. And map type control is false. And some, we have something called navigation control options. Okay, uh, that is style google.maps, navigation control style is small okay and apart from that I'm taking two variables this is the final part of it where you are going to give all the things like uh, google.maps.map document.getElement by ID this map holder and I'm passing my custom styles written inside this object and apart from that this is the variable called marker which is going to mark the position on the map okay and this is the API key you have to pass to this title key and we have another method passed here to the get current position that is show error suppose suppose um, if the permission is denied then we'll get this type of error user denied the request for the geolocation and if the uh, position is unavailable we'll get this one and if it is timeout we'll get this error so what i've done is i've used a switch case based on the error type it's going to fetch the different cases so without wasting much time let me jump into 
demo and let me show you now when I double click on this index.1html page so it's going to take me the chrome browser and here you can observe very clearly we have the chrome browser and when I click on this try it so it's asking me to know your location so I want to allow this which will uh, on the GPS you can observe here and here we are getting my current location this is my current location and I can zoom this okay here is my current location you can observe very clearly this is how we can fetch the current location of a particular area with the help of interactive Google Maps so here is my code for that so you can observe very clearly so that's for the day what we learned in this session is we learned like how to build a Google Map interactive Google Map with the marker zoom and drag options so that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Langport training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer website we're on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day